Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is taking a break. This is someone who is spending time on their own. You could be in separation. There's an energy of taking time to heal, to recover, to rejuvenate. So we have the, the Death card in the reverse, Scorpio Energy, the Wheel of Fortune, um, fixed sign energy and the three of cups water energy it's like you're taking a break from a relationship you could be spending time with friends um, you could be socializing doing things outside of the relationship to kind of recover from something it may have been something that occurred in the relationship that was unexpected that she, that kind of made you want to pull away um, with the death card though it's in the reverse so it does show that it's not the relationship isn't over it looks like it's a temporary separation that's occurring right now so let's clarify these cards gemini Okay, so we have the Five of Cups in the reverse, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So there's some sort of disappointments that has occurred, and it may have caused one or both of you to kind of shut down and distance yourself. But it does look like something that isn't necessarily a deal breaker for the relationship, because with the Five of Cups in the reverse, it does show an energy of moving on from the past, you know, letting go of the hurts, but doing this in your own time. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the Chariot, Cancer Energy, and the Ace of Cups, Water Energy. Yeah, you guys will overcome any obstacles or challenges here. There is an energy of overcoming and uh, being victorious. Like this connection is too strong to be uh, like ruined by something here yeah, that it doesn't look like something too major, but it looks like there's, there will be an opportunity to restore the connection, but time apart may have to take place first. With the Ace of Pentacles, someone could be sincerely apologizing or owning up to something and it's leading to a new beginning for the connection. Okay, so... I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, um, Gemini. Okay, we have expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. So the, the dynamic, the way you guys go about this relationship is going to change. You know, whatever has occurred has kind of changed the dynamic, but it's also made the connection more resilient. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have new love. A new person has started your romantic feelings. Yeah, there's an opportunity to have a new beginning here, but it's it's like you guys are healing separately. And then we have power and healing. To get what you love, you first have to be patient with what you have. Yeah, you guys, this connection will be restored, but it's going to be completely different than what it used to be like. There's an energy of a new beginning and healing. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Gemini. Okay, we have surrender to setting limits. 
It's healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So it's like you, you, you and this person, boundaries are being set into place so that the past doesn't repeat. You may find yourself being more assertive towards this person and this, this will help the connection, especially if you want to see positive, powerful change. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.